welcome, in this video I will show you how to run diagnostics on MacBook Air M4. First thing you have to check for is whether you are using the latest version of macOS, in my case uh, it's macOS 26. So first make sure that you have a Wi-Fi connection or if you don't use Wi-Fi make sure that you are connected to the Ethernet cable, then tap the Apple logo in the left top left corner of the screen and select system settings. In system settings go to general section, let me zoom it in a little bit for you. In general section select software update and then wait until your device checks for any software updates available and if your Mac is up to date then you are ready to start diagnostics. If it's not then uh, perform the update. If you want to learn how to perform the update, uh, then you can check the video on our channel. But basically what you have to do from here is, uh, uh, if you have updates, uh, is uh, click uh, get next to an update and uh, plug in the charging cable to your device and wait for approximately half an hour. You know, well, maybe longer depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Uh, okay, so right now, once we know that the macOS version is the latest one. Uh, you just have to shut your computer down either by clicking the Apple logo in the top left corner of the screen and selecting shutdown or by holding down the power button of your computer until your device's screen shuts down. Once your device's screen is turned off, start pressing the power button once again until you see the Apple logo on your screen and uh, the sign underneath it saying to continue holding the power button for startup options to appear. And when it, once you see the loading startup options uh, sign, you can release the power button and just wait for them to appear on your screen. Now in this menu, you're gonna have to use the combination of two keys, Command and D. Press Command and D and hold them down until your Apple device started starts diagnostics. Once the screen uh, goes off, you just have to wait for your device to restart and to uh, open the diagnostics menu. Once you see this window, click continue, then choose a Wi-Fi network. It's gonna be probably gonna be chosen by, by default. Uh, then click continue once you are connected to the right one, then agree. And then you just have to wait for the diagnostics to begin. Now click continue and wait for a while until you see the window with uh, elements that you can diagnose in this menu. And this is the diagnostics menu. Now you can see uh, many different elements that you can diagnose in it. Uh, those are both uh, software and hardware and to start diagnostics you just have to press the play button next to the element that you want to inspect. Now, after that, once you press the play button, wait until the diagnostics are complete. And uh, once the diagnostics are complete, you will get the result and you will see which uh, elements of your hardware or software passed the diagnostics. Okay, now in this menu you can check a bunch of different elements and as you can see everything passed for me. If something failed, then you'll be able to check for more information by clicking the, for example, I, uh, information icon or you're probably gonna have the uh, icon uh, on how uh, that will suggest you on how you can resolve your hardware or software issue. Once you're done, click done. And whenever you want to leave this menu, just click this uh, left arrow icon in the top right corner or top left corner of the window, then select cancel and then select restart. And then your device will reboot and uh, at this point uh, you you'll be able to uh, get back to using it normally. And that's it. I hope that this video helped you and if it did, please consider subscribing to our channel, leave us a like and a comment below. And I'll see you in the next one.